I'm Dr. Bob Foster. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at St. Vincent's East in Birmingham, Alabama. And, um, and what we're going to do is to try to open up a leg artery. Uh, leg arteries we're finding are becoming more and more problem in our population because the population is aging. Uh, we're having patients that are much are living much longer with their coronary artery disease. And so this is an advanced atherosclerosis, which is build up a plaque in the arteries. What it causes is severe leg pain or ulcers of the leg. Uh, primarily patients complain of leg pain when they walk, typically in the back of the calves. and limits what they do. They're not able to walk on the beach. They're not able to play golf. They're not able to do the things that they want to do. And our, our population now wants to be able to be more active. So this is a non-invasive way, a way of going in and opening up those leg arteries without having to do surgery. Most of these patients are elderly, although we're, we're finding a lot of patients, particularly diabetics and smokers, that are having this problem early on. So what we're able to do is through a small catheter is to go in, go into the leg artery, go in and just evaporate the plaque that's inside the blood vessel that's obstructing the flow of blood down to their lower leg. So what we're going to use is a laser, and the way the laser is, is done is we first cross the blockage with a small wire. Once we cross the, that blockage with the wire, we run the laser, which is a very small catheter. It just goes down and just, uh, just slowly goes through that, uh, that blockage and opens it up. It evaporates all the plaque and clot or whatever is blocking that, uh, that blood vessel. And, uh, and once that's evaporated, it allows flow down that vessel. Afterwards, we're able to just slide the catheter back out, hold some pressure on the leg. Uh, there's no cutting. There's no stitches. There's no pain. Uh, patients don't, don't feel this procedure at all. We give you a small amount of sedation, just enough to help you relax. There's no general anesthesia. The patient is awake. We can talk to you during the procedure. So it's a very low-risk procedure because we don't have to give anesthesia. Uh, it's not a prolonged hospital stay. After this procedure, we typically watch the patient overnight, let them go home first thing in the morning. They can drive the following day. They can do whatever they want to within two or three days and, um, and get back to their uh, normal lifestyle. So it's a non-invasive technique. It uh, takes about the procedure itself. takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to perform, and, um, and then the patient uh, is watched overnight and goes home the next day.